guys i hope you are doing well i'm sorry my room is a little bit messy you can probably see some boxes in the background i moved into my new apartment yesterday so i have most of my stuff still in boxes and i didn't have time to unpack yet you can also see here i am working on another video for quite some time now hopefully we'll be finished soon but i have a lot of footage to go through yet so you can see i'm quite busy but i still decided to make this video because this is a topic i feel quite strongly about now the tldr is this iranian canadian contestant on rupaul's drag race named jackie cox decided to perform on the latest episode of rupaul's drag race wearing a hijab with the stars and stripes and actor and musician jeff goldblum who was one of the guest judges in the show decided to ask a few questions to cox is there something in this religion that is anti-homosexuality or anti-woman doesn't that complicate the issue i'm just raising it and thinking out loud and maybe being stupid so that's it guys he asked Asked a question. The audacity. How dare him? How dare you? Apparently, asking questions is really dangerous and really wrong. And if you doubt me, let's look at what some people said on Twitter. Khalid El Khalib wrote, I don't watch this show, but I keep seeing this clip and it's Islamophobic and dangerous. Period. Yes, people, questions are dangerous. Don't ask them. Ever. Islam, like all religions, has significant progress to do in embracing intersectionality. But at its core, it's a religion of tolerance. Really, at its core, it's a religion of tolerance. So please tell me, Khalid, why the fuck then is homosexuality outlawed in the majority of countries that follow Islamic law? And not just outlawed, it's punished by the death penalty. Alex here wrote, I really don't need to see the Islamophobic Jeff Goldblum clip on the second day of Ramadan, so please stop sharing it and remember, if you bring up homophobia and sexism every time someone mentions Islam but not Christianity, you're racist that's it you are yes people criticizing a religion now is racism apparently alex here doesn't know the difference between religion and race religion is related to worshiping some sort of superpower supernatural being and it usually involves a number of cultural practices in order to show your reverence to such supernatural entity while race is a division of people according to physical characteristics which varies usually we refer to skin color but it can also refer to other attributes so they are completely different one is related to physical differences and the other is related to to worshipping practices. I would expect that people would know the difference by now, but some still can't get it right. Omar here wrote, Jeff Goldblum felt the need to say, but isn't Islam anti-gay and anti-woman to Jackie because she was wearing a stars and stripes hijab? As if America hasn't been anti-gay and anti-woman from the outset or killed and displaced millions of Muslims, including women and queers. Dude, this is a deflection. It's the same as the previous tweet. Every time someone criticizes is Islam, you have to criticize something else and say, oh, but this other institution, this other religion is also shit. You are tacitly admitting that Islam is shit. It doesn't really excuse Islam, does it? Also, why do you think people don't criticize Christianity when it comes up? Most people who are, let's say, militant atheists or anti-religion criticize both. So you're talking shit, mate. Ben Gross, apologist, wrote, Jeff Goldblum is why we shouldn't let straight men be drag race judges. Yes, people, the problem is not that Islamic countries are persecuting homosexuals and murdering them for their sexuality. The problem is that a straight man decided to question that. Dangerous. Now, some of these tweets are from Muslims. So yeah, they're gonna make excuses for their religion. So I understand why they do it but it's still pretty shitty. But the worst thing that really bothers me more are people who are not Muslims, who are just doing this for virtue signaling. People who might have, you know, their heart in the right place because they see Muslims getting mistreated in their country, which is shit and you should criticize, but then go on and decides to attack people who criticize not the believers, but the fucking religion itself. That should be criticized. You see people, you can criticize both Islam and people who are intolerant to Muslims. You can criticize both, they're not mutually exclusive. But Islam is a shitty religion. And if you doubt it, let's look at the facts. In all of these Muslim countries that you see on the screen, homosexuality is illegal. And the penalty is death. If Jackie Cox had the lifestyle that she has in Iran, she would be sentenced to death. 
which is why most gays and lesbians have to flee Iran and other Muslim countries because they can't stay. You might say that Christianity is also bad, but when you look at the majority of countries with a Christian population, you don't see these problems. You see them in countries that have a majority Muslim population. That's a fact. And this intolerance to homosexuals is not only a problem in these countries. A 2016 poll among British Muslims found that 50% of them think that homosexuality should be illegal in Britain. So this intolerance to homosexuality is widespread among Muslims. Uh, and that is homosexuality. Let's talk about the other problem. In Iran, which is where Cox's family comes from, women are forced by law to wear a veil. Which is why the veil is probably the most prominent symbol of oppression against women in the Islamic world. So good job, Jackie Cox, to wear a hijab to celebrate the Islamic culture when women in Iran are taking them off in protest because they are forced to wear it. They don't have a choice. 20-year-old Iranian woman was sentenced this week for removing her hijab in public. Saba Gord Afshari was handed a 24-year term by Tehran's Revolutionary Court. And Iran is not the only country that uses the law to force women to wear hijab. It's also compulsory in Saudi Arabia and an Indonesian province. So as you can see, Goldblum's question was quite appropriate. Homophobia and sexism are huge problems in the Muslim world. And when people get outraged at the ones asking questions, at the ones criticizing it, pointing out these problems, you are doing a huge disservice to the LGBT people and the women who are still persecuted and oppressed in this countries. If you really care about them, direct your outrage to their governments, clerics, and to all people who keep making apology for these huge problems instead of addressing them. Not to people like Jeff Goldblum, like Majid Nawaz, like Ayan Hirsi Ali, who raise these issues. They are not the problem. You who keep ignoring it, who keep vilifying the people who are pointing out these issues, you are the fucking problem. And you should be embarrassed and ashamed of yourself every time you dogpile on people who criticize Islam and don't spend one fucking day of your life angry at what LGBT and women have to go through in these countries. Anyway guys, that's what I have to say about this. I've been Sarah Michelle. Thanks for watching.